Wondering if the DJI Mini 5 Pro is worth the wait? In today's video, we're diving into everything you need to know about this upcoming drone release. We'll talk about its rumored features, when it's expected to drop, and how it compares to older models like the Mini 4. By the end of this review, you'll know exactly what to expect from the Mini 5 Pro and whether it's the right fit for your needs. If you're into drones or just curious about this next-gen tech, stick around. You won't want to miss this. Before we get started, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest drone news. It only takes a second, and you'll be first to know when we post new videos, just like this one. Now, let's jump right into what makes the DJI Mini 5 Pro such a buzzworthy release. First off, it's expected to come out in December, and that's got everyone talking. If you're familiar with the Mini series, you probably already know that each model gets better than the last. The Mini 5 Pro is rumored to pack some serious upgrades that could make it the best Mini yet. One of the most exciting improvements is the camera system. While the previous models were already pretty good, this one's expected to take it up a notch, offering 4K video at 60 frames per second. That's a huge step up, especially for anyone looking to capture smooth, high-quality video for things like travel vlogs or professional shoots. Another big feature we're hearing about is the improved battery life. The Mini 5 Pro is said to offer up to 35 minutes of flight time, which is a nice improvement over the Mini 4's 30 minutes. For drone enthusiasts, that means more time in the air capturing stunning footage without worrying about constantly swapping out batteries. So, if you're planning to use it for longer shoots or just want the peace of mind that comes with extra flight time, this is a big win. If you're enjoying this review so far, make sure you hit that thumbs up. It really helps out the channel and you won't miss out on any of our upcoming reviews. Plus, we love hearing from you in the comments. Tell us what feature you're most excited about on the Mini 5 Pro. Now, let's dive deeper into these features and see how they perform in real-world use. Starting with the camera system, as we mentioned earlier, the Mini 5 Pro is expected to have a 4K camera that shoots at 60 frames per second. That's a huge leap over the previous models, especially the Mini 4, which maxed out at 2.7K. The 60 frames per second video is going to make everything from fast-moving shots to smooth cinematic drone footage look incredible. Whether you're shooting in bright daylight or capturing a sunset, the improved sensor should handle a wider range of lighting conditions better than ever before. This is a huge bonus if you're someone who likes to shoot at different times of day or in challenging lighting environments. Let's talk about battery life a little more. The DJI Mini 5 Pro is expected to last up to 35 minutes, which might not sound like much more than the previous model, but every extra minute counts when you're up in the air trying to get that perfect shot. And remember, the Mini 5 Pro is still a compact drone, so that's a pretty solid performance for its size. In real-world use, that means you can fly further distances, capture more footage on each battery, and feel less rushed to land and recharge. It's perfect for those long outdoor adventures, when you need all the battery life you can get. One of the standout features that should make a big difference for a lot of people is the improved obstacle avoidance system. The Mini 5 Pro is expected to have sensors placed all around the drone, helping it avoid obstacles even in tight spots. This is great news if you're a beginner or someone who doesn't want to worry too much about crashing your drone when flying in tricky areas. In practice, that means the Mini 5 Pro should help you fly with more confidence, even in environments where trees, buildings, or other obstacles might be a problem. Now, let's take a quick look at the pros and cons of this drone. On the positive side, the 4K camera is a game changer. If you're someone who uses your drone for anything from capturing landscapes to shooting professional videos, this upgrade is going to make a huge difference in the quality of your footage. The longer battery life is another standout benefit. No one likes to have to constantly swap out batteries, so the extra flight time is a big plus for anyone who likes to take their drone on longer excursions. The enhanced obstacle avoidance system is definitely worth mentioning too. With more sensors and improved detection, it's going to be safer for both beginners and more experienced drone pilots who want to fly in crowded or tricky areas. However, there are a couple of downsides to keep in mind. The price point might be a little high, especially if you're just getting into drones. If you're looking for something cheaper, the Mini 5 Pro might feel a little pricey compared to entry-level models like the Mini 2 or Mini SE. 
Also, while the camera is definitely an upgrade, it still may not be on par with more expensive drones, like the Mavic Air or Air 2S, which offer better zoom capabilities and more advanced features. Want to know more? If you're curious about how this compares to other drones on the market, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll be covering more drone comparisons soon, so make sure you're in the loop for future content. Comparing the DJI Mini 5 Pro to other models on the market, it really holds its own. The biggest competition is probably going to come from the Mini 4, which is a solid drone in its own right. But the Mini 5 Pro offers significant upgrades, especially in terms of the camera and battery life. If you already have the Mini 4, upgrading to the Mini 5 Pro might be worth it if you're looking for better camera quality or more flight time. However, if you're considering drones like the DJI Air 2S or even the Mavic Mini 2, you'll notice that while the Mini 5 Pro offers a lot of the same core features, it doesn't come with the advanced flight modes or a longer range of these higher-end models. The Air 2S, for example, has a much better camera system with 5.4K video and a larger sensor. But for a smaller, more portable drone, the Mini 5 Pro offers a lot of value for its price, especially for people who want something more affordable that still delivers great results. So, who would benefit the most from the DJI Mini 5 Pro? If you're into aerial photography or videography, this drone is definitely a great option. It's compact, it's capable, and it can capture some amazing shots. It's also perfect for beginner drone pilots who want something that's easy to learn but still has plenty of advanced features to grow into. The improved obstacle sensors and better camera make it a safe and reliable choice for anyone looking to up their drone game. However, if you're someone who's looking for the best camera system or longer flight distances, you might want to consider stepping up to a more premium model like the Air 2S or the Mavic Air. Before we wrap up, if you're excited about the Mini 5 Pro, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear what feature you're most excited about or what kind of shots you're hoping to capture with it. Don't forget to give this video a like if you found it helpful and be sure to subscribe for more updates on all things drones. In summary, the DJI Mini 5 Pro looks like it's going to be a solid upgrade, offering plenty of new features, improved performance, and a better camera, all while keeping things compact and affordable. Whether you're